In this short video, I'd like to talk about setting up shortcuts for Internet Explorer 10 websites on the Metro interface, and two ways that you can do this. <coughs> First of all, if we open Internet Explorer 10 on the desktop, and go to any website, let's go to Video Chug. Now, if we go to the Tools option up here, and then go to Add Site to Start Screen, then we come up with this screen. Now, it's a bit annoying here that you can't change the name because you can see on the on the video jug site, you haven't just got the name, you've got a whole lot of other information about the site and that looks a bit messy because when you do add, and if we close that and go to the Metro interface, we've got the option here and you can see it's got a, all the extra information there. We don't want that really, it looks a bit messy. We want them to look more like this kind of effect. So anyway, if we right click on this shortcut, and we go to open file location, it takes us to where that, loca that icon is, um, that shortcut is, is. We can right click on it and do rename. So, so that's no problem really, we can get rid of all that rubbish there. Just an extra step. And then go back to the Metro interface. There we go, click on it, no problem. So that's one way of doing it. Um, what I don't like about that way is that you've got no other control over that. You can't, for example, change the icon. If I go here, you can see for I've got other shortcuts here for like Gmail and Facebook where I've added my own icons which are sort of metro-y kind of icons if you like. Whereas if we go here, we've got this really naff kind of icon there for the video joke, and we can't really control that. If we go back to the desktop, you can see by right clicking on there and going to properties, this type of file is actually a pinned site shortcut and we can't do anything else with it. We can't change its icon. So how do we accomplish this if we want to have a shortcut where we've got more control over how it looks on the Metro interface? Well, let's go down to this programs directory here and we can do this by right clicking on the desktop and saying new shortcut and then we have to type in just where I, pre I prepared this earlier as you can see there in the paste buffer we have the path to iExplore.exe it needs to be in double quotes because of the gaps between program and files and internet and explorer then all we need to do is add a space and type in where we want to go to videojug.com Next, and then give it a name, Video Jug. Finish. Now, when we go back now to the Start menu, you see we've got an icon there now. Again, it's not exactly the icon we want, but it looks better than that one. And clicking on that will take us to the website. Now, what we can now do, because this is like a normal window shortcut, is we can right click on it, go to Properties. And now we have the option of changing the icon. So we can click on Change Icon, Browse, pick any icon we want, OK, OK. And then that's reflected straight away in our Metro interface with a new icon. So there are two different ways of setting up shortcuts for Internet Explorer 10 on the Metro interface. One's a little bit more fiddly, but I like it because you've got, you can set up whatever icon you like. So. I hope that's been helpful and useful. Feel free to comment and please watch any of the videos I have.